Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is a tag video again. As you know, I love doing tags and my friend Prue here on YouTube, she does a lot of tags right now and she's tagging me and I think it's so fun because she finds the most amazing tag videos. And this tag video is called Another Palette Tag. And the creator of this is Kylie Boot. I will leave her down in the description and yeah this is nine questions about palettes and I I was looking for my makeup and trying to pick out palettes for all these questions but I don't really know if I've taken the right palettes and this is just for like now because my mind and what I feel about my palettes it's changing over time so these are the palettes right now that is the answer to these questions just hop into the questions and question number one is your first palette and i don't have my first palette i declared it a long time ago and i think my first ever palette eyeshadow palette i bought was from h and m and i think it actually was a rainbow palette or a nude smoky I think it was called one of these two I think it was the rainbow palette H&M got like this 36 shadows color I think that was my first eyeshadow palette what I can remember my first high-end eyeshadow palette was the Naked 2 by Urban Decay. It was my first high-end palette. Question number two. Your most re recent purchase. And that is the Flare palette. By Ace Boutte. I adore this palette. I can leave my first impression up here. It looks like this. This is like such an amazing palette. I love the color story of this. So this is my most recent purchase. Question number three. One you regret missing out on. And yes, I have to check on the questions while I'm reading because yeah. And I was trying so hard to figure out which palette and I don't know if I have any palette that I have missed out on. Maybe the Electric by Urban K, but now I have heard it's not that good. But I remember I wanted that so bad and then it was on sale when it was going out of stock. And I almost had it. It disappeared from my shopping cart. So that was a little bummer, but I am not feel like I'm missing out on it now because what I understand it's not a, such an amazing palette. And I think that is the only palette that I am maybe a little bummed out about. This was hard to come up with the palette, but I think that Urban Decay Electric. But like not anymore because I don't think it would be such a good thing in my collection because I don't think I would really need it. Question number four. The one that makes you happy looking at it. To look at see why I have to read and this uh, I have two palettes here it has to be the creepy cute I love the packaging of this and I love the colors this is such a cute palette but also a little bit like grungy and creepy I love that because I love the creepy things so yeah this palette i'm always happy when i look at this because it's such a cute palette i really really love it question number five the one that you have changed your mind about and i am so happy to say this it is the dragon shine by menagerie cosmetics if you've seen my free looks one palette i have such a struggle with this and then i did get ready with me and it felt like we are finally getting along I am so happy because this palette it's so freaking amazing to look at and I am so happy that I love this now. I didn't do it before but now I really do and I am so so happy that I've changed my mind about this. So freaking glad. 
question number six, one that surprised you. And I have not taken one palette, I've been taking three palettes. And something that have really, really, really surprised me is the Kaleidos makeup. These three palettes are amazing. All of these are so freaking amazing. I was like blown away by how good these were. All of them, they have such a cohesive, is it even called that? Like the quality of all the palettes are equal. The shadows are amazing, so easy to work with. Just amazing palettes. I thought these would be good, but not as good as they are. So they really surprised me. Can recommend these so, so, so much. Question number seven, one that inspires you the most. And I think I have to say the flare palette on this one as well. And I think it's mostly because this is new. If you love eyeshadow like me, you know how it is when you like get a new palette and you want to use it over and over and over and over again. So yeah, that's, that's this. Do you see the mirror back there? I'm sorry. I have to sit like this. So this inspires me the most for this time. When I get a new palette, I guess that that one will inspire me the most. Do you want to see it again? <laughs> so I think by the time right now, this inspires me the most. I don't even have to use it. Just open it, look at it and feel like this is amazing. So this inspires me the most right now. Question number eight, one on your wish list and it feels like I've talked about this in so many videos, but um, maybe I should tweak something else then. Okay, it's two palettes that is on my wish list, and I can't decide which one I want. Oceanic by Ace Brute and Affinity 2 by Certified. These two are on the top of my wish list right now, and I can't decide which one I want. I think I should buy the certify but now when I love the flare palette I think I would love the oceanic palette as well so I don't know but one of these palettes or both of these palettes are like on the top of my wish list right now and question number nine your no fail palette and this maybe seems a little bit boring but I have to say soft glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is one of my favorites from Anastasia. It looks like this. This I use so much off YouTube when maybe me and my boyfriend are going out to eat dinner or if I'm going out like with my mom when she is here and going to eat dinner. I use this a lot and I have never done a bad makeup with this. The formula is amazing. I really like the colors. It's like my kind of neutral because it's a little bit warmer and it's a little bit orangey and red and yeah, I really really love this palette. If I could only keep one of my boring palettes, it would definitely be this one because I love this. So this is my no fail palette because when I don't know what to do, I don't want to do anything colorful, I pick this up and it always works out so good. So this is my no fail palette. And that was actually all for this tag video. Thank you so much for taking me through. I love to do this. I really hope I answered somewhat good. <laughs> I think I actually will tag some people with this. I usually don't do it, but I think I will do it. So I'm gonna leave some people down below that I really, really want to do this tag. But if I'm not tagging you and you have a channel, just do it because it's so fun to see. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Do you agree with me on some of these things or do you disagree with me? What do you, you think about my palettes I showed you? So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!